Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you my winter morning skincare routine. I know that I made a video all about the 10-step Korean skincare that didn't work for me using the Soko Glam pre package set, but now that I've talked to a one-on-one -on -one skin consultant from Silco Glam, they helped me curate a great line of products for me, for my skincare, for my specific skincare routine, and that I've been working on for the past year. So what you saw back then is totally different now. I have incorporated some similar products, but in this video I want to just focus on the winter morning routine, and then I'll do another winter evening routine and an acne routine, and then during the summer I'll do a whole different routine because there are certain things that are different. My skin type is dry and sensitive. I have eczema as I've mentioned previous times, and in the winter in New York it's brutally cold. Recently it's been about like 10 to 20 degrees outside with a lot of wind, your skin just feels really dry and during the nighttime, the heater will come on randomly and it's a steam heater so it's not as bad but it still dries out your skin. I really feel like I need to be hydrated and I hate having that really tight feeling on my face. Another thing I'd like to mention is that I found within the past year after using this skincare routine and following it day and night it's helped my cystic acne go down to almost nothing. I used to get a lot of breakouts around my nose or my chin area or just other random spots on my face and now I get them almost never really. And I know it has a lot to do with this skincare routine and I also feel like my skin complexion is brighter, my acne scarring has significantly decreased and overall I feel plump and hydrated and not dry. So let's get started. The first thing that I always do is take a shower in the morning and so usually I just do a cold or warm water rinse just all over my face. I don't use a cleanser in the morning because I feel like it just strips away a lot of my natural oils and I don't feel like I need to do it two times a day. First, immediately out of the shower, I try to use a toner and the one that I've been loving is this Beauty Water from Sun and Park. It's one of those beauty cult favorites and I just really feel like it's a good light exfoliator but it also tones and it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry. So all you have to do is take some and squeeze it onto a cotton rounder pad. Then I just sweep it over my face. And it just feels really refreshing and cooling. And don't forget the neck area. Alright, next is Essence. And I've been loving this Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. It's really good and it was recommended to me by my skin consultant for dry skin. I feel like this hydrates as well and it helps keep your skin feeling plump. Some of the benefits are brighter, softer, and deeply hydrated skin. So you just unscrew this and then you just put it onto your palm, like a few drops. And then you just pat this over the face. And next. Okay, next is a step that I recently incorporated into my winter routine because I felt so dry once I stepped outside. It's the COSRX Advanced Snail Mucin Essence. And one thing I didn't realize is that you can actually layer essences. I thought one essence was enough, and during the summer it is, but during the winter, because I'm so dry, I need two essences. So this, the first essence I use is obviously very watery, but then this essence is a snail mucin, so it's very thick and sticky which some people might not like that consistency, but I personally love it because I like when my face feels a little sticky because I know it's being hydrated. So this one comes in a pump. Usually I just take my finger and I pump it onto it. And then again, I rub or tap this into my skin. I really focus on the areas that I feel dry, which are like my forehead, my cheek area, my nose. This not only hydrates, but it also repairs damage. So it does many things. All right, next is a product that I've been using since high school. It's the UB Japanese Moisturizing Cream. And I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but I think I found it at Whole Foods one time. We started using lip balm, and then I just started using their creams. And the cream is very yellow, but I felt that this just is really helpful. It helped my eczema. It's helped me moisturized throughout the day. I tried all these other creams and this one I just still come back to. You can buy it on Amazon. And I'll link all the products below. After that, we're gonna do sunscreen. And 
The one that I love is from Neogen as well. It's the Daylight Protection SPF Sunscreen. Not only is this helpful for UVA and UVB rays, it's SPF 50 and PA++++. And the other thing I like about this one is that it's good for dry skin. So I use this during the winter, especially because it's so drying outside. It does have a slight scent to it. It's almost like lemongrass or ginger or something, but I don't really mind the smell. I will say though, I do not use this during the summer because it does make your skin look pretty shiny, especially in photos. And I don't need that during the summertime because it's pretty humid outside. So I really just use this during the winter. And you guys know that SPF is just great because it helps to block all the UVA, UVB, all the sun rays and prevent sun damage, which we may not see right away, but is something that you should keep in mind for the future, definitely. And one thing I always forget is to cover your ears because that's also exposed. Okay, so after sunscreen, I put on my eye cream. and. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but on my left eye, I tend to get a lot of eczema or dryness, especially during the winter time. I feel like it's like, I feel like it's like clockwork. It just happens. And it's kind of hard because sometimes it it's not only itchy and a little bit flaky, but it's really red. And so my Soko Glam 101 skincare consultant recommended this Etude House Soon cream. And it's basically a it's called it's called a balm panthenososide. I don't really know what that means, but I guess the ingredients are really just plain, simple, clean, and good for skin that's irritated because you don't want to use something that will irritate your skin. It's a very bland formula, it's very like a white um, cream. It doesn't sting when I put it on, and I think that's how I know that it's good because some other eye creams that I was using when I'm in this eczema state, it feel it stings when I put it on. The only thing I will say about this is it's, it is hydrating, but I do have to reapply it on during the day on the eczema eye because I can tell that if I only put it on during the morning and then I forget about it until nighttime, the eczema doesn't go away. So I need to complete, I need to constantly hydrate that area because if I don't, then it'll get worse. If not, I like the Anskin Bio Origin Eye Cream. It's good because it prevents milia, but it offers hydration, which you obviously know I need, especially during the winter time. And yes, I put eye cream on my eyelids because of the eczema, although I feel like most people just focus on their bottom area. I really try to focus on both areas. And you just pat it in with your ring finger because that's the most gentle finger. For eye creams, honestly, I'm just looking for something that will hydrate my upper eyelids and I know I have bags and dark circles, but I haven't really noticed any improvement for those items. I will say one more thing is that throughout the day, because it's still dry and yes, despite all of these things that I put on my skin, I still feel dry sometimes, especially at work where the heater's on or where I'm just exposed to the elements, I use my Benton Honey Tea Tea Mist, and then I'll just mist my face when I'm feeling a little dry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. I really recommend checking out Soko Glam. I know this is not sponsored or anything. They have a wide range of products, and I really love their one-on-one skin experts who can help you with the questions you have. For example, I just bought that Soko Glam 10 Step Korean Skin Care Kit, and most of the products didn't work for me. But after talking to her on the phone and explaining what my skin type was and what issues I found, she was able to help me find products. And we've been corresponding over the past year with other questions I've had. For example, when I run out of a product, is there another product that she recommends? Or when my eyes started, my eyelids started flaring up with the eczema, she recommended that cream and so I think it's good for you to do your research try different products what works for me may not work for you but these are things I found were helpful and certain tricks that help during the winter especially another thing I would say is using a humidifier is a game-changer there's no option you definitely need it because it helps keep the room moist and your skin moist look out for my next video which will be my evening winter skincare routine and then I'll do an acne one as well. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!